Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so Spinblade asked how to accept payments. What's the best way? So um, PayPal is the best, I would say. Um, not because of their terms and agreements only and all that stuff, but U.S. people, um, tr uh, what do you call it? trust PayPal? Because I had people in the past um, ask me, now, what about the payments? Uh, how do you, how, how is that done? And I said like uh, PayPal, and they're they're always happy, right? Because they know it's one of the biggest brands, and PayPal has actually some things that you want to protect yourself with, also, right? For example, all the conversation leading up to the payment, try to keep it somewhere that's stored. For example, um, in email, PayPal would take that because what will happen is, um, this never happened to me, but my partner always tells me, like, be careful, uh, is that if you, it was just all verbal, like, let's say you guys all spoke through Skype and he just paid you and he's paying you like, let's say $1,000 a month for three months. And after three months, he's decided that I don't want this. It's not worth it for me. They can actually go to PayPal and cancel and, and you'd have to give back all that money, right? So um, you have to make sure that they, they can uh, do that to you and, um, you know, basically just like lie to people that they don't know what the hell is going on, why you're charging them or anything like that. Basically, um, yeah, so you want to have the conversation either recorded or on email. Damn, I'm blanking out. Anyways, um, there's one thing that I was recently referred to, which I would love if one of you guys could try out and see how it works is I think trans yeah it was there fuck where is it transferwise yeah transferwise check this thing out transferwise apparently it is an upcoming payment system that will allow you to actually um, get paid for free PayPal takes three percent which is a shit ton right um, it's a lot of money guys. Especially if you're making, uh, you know, I don't know. If you're starting to make a decent amount of money, I'm paying almost $100 in PayPal, which is, I feel, really unfair. Which <laughs> It's a lot of money. $100 a month, that's like another software I could have, another course I can be a part of at $67. And I have to pay that just because I have to pay to receive money. It's weird. I don't know. I just don't feel that comfortable with it. I guess most people are okay with it because you're used to paying credit cards and stuff like that. And credit cards take a similar amount of fee. I think it's like average 2.7, 3.3%, um, which makes sense though, because credit cards are lending you the money. They're at risk, right? Right. So credit cards lend you money and there's a risk across the board that you might not pay back and all that shit. So they have to take an interest. But PayPal, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know any alternatives. I know there's Stripe. I use Stripe for some people, um, especially if they are a paper call because that varies in terms of payments. But let me know if this can work out. If TransferWise works out, I would definitely um, move on to this. I gave it a try and I forgot where I got stuck. I couldn't do it, um, but it is all around the globe. Okay, so it's great. You can, US people can send you money and they'll literally give you in your foreign bank account the um, exchange rate, right? the exchange rate of that money without keeping any extra fees. I'm probably guessing, you know, the exchange rate would be a little bit favored to their side, but that's given. What the fuck? All right, guys, so please let me know how this one goes. And um, yeah.